So cheer up. You're it. I mean this to point out the issue of fracking, and for those of you who don't know what that is, that's uh, the process of extracting deep underground gas. And as uh, some of the uh, YouTube uh, journalists, in particular uh, Dutch Sense, um, has been quite accurately pointing out, many of the earthquakes that we're experiencing across the country, uh, in places where we don't normally see them, are in, f uh, in fact right in the middle of fracking fields. Uh, we are literally destroying the ground beneath our feet. Now I've got a, uh, a video I want to, that I, a screen capture I put together showing uh, some of Dutch's uh, observations. Uh, there's a fellow over in Australia uh, did a, a video uh, pleading uh, for the, the fracking to stop. Not only does it destroy the, uh, the subterranean structures, but uh, they, they don't just use water under high pressure. They, they add chemicals, which ends up polluting the water table. And um, there are videos that actually show water coming out of the tap being set on fire. The, the methane content is so high, the water literally burns out of the tap. Not good, people. Not good. So back to the United States, um, I've been watching the earthquake situation ever since the, uh, the big uh, 9.0 in Japan. Okay, before I do that, I want to show you the uh, equivalent massive fracking field similar to that in Australia. Now this is in Wyoming, and it just goes on and on. Uh, no earthquakes in this area yet, but I'm certainly going to keep our eye on it. Uh, one reason is uh, perhaps this is uh, on an older part of the continental plate. Maybe there are areas which are safer to do these types of ground invasive techniques than others. Life's a gas. I hope it's gonna in particular, there's a, an area I've kind of had my eye on in Northern California. And you think, well, California, you know, earthquakes, no big deal. But what I'm seeing is a really highly concentrated swarm. And now keep in mind that this Google Earth map only shows the last seven days of activity. Seven days of activity. Now, I've been watching this area, like I say, for almost a year now. And there is always this huge swarm. So that means that every week... There are <laughs> huge numbers of um, earthquakes in this area. And I'm going to zoom in here and show you that um, what I thought was a large gas mining operation, according to a close friend who has been in this area, is actually a geothermal plant. So now we have a new problem with a promising alternative energy source, destruction of ground stability. As big as things are, who would think our little activities could have such a large impact on the Earth? But apparently it does. Fracking is a nightmare, and now it looks like geothermal is going to affect our world in ways we would have never imagined. Well, imagine it. Geothermal is not the answer if it means unleashing a genie we may not be able to put back into the bottle. Um, here we are again. Uh, I don't know if anyone has caught this one before now, but I do want to point it out. So that as we're sitting around this winter enjoying a uh, nice warm home, nice and cozy, and the heat comes on, Let's uh, let's keep in mind that, you know, we are all consumers. Now, what's the alternatives? Uh, you know, many of us believe that the military is holding out on us, that there's no need for uh, this natural gas um, and the fracking to get at it, or uh, the, the oil. There are 
alternatives that uh, many people have poo-pooed and says is uh, nothing more than perpetual motion. And if they actually knew their physics and knew about uh, quantum foam and uh, virtual particles, uh, they would certainly have to redefend their position. So there, there are other ways of uh, that we could be living our lives. And uh, in case nobody's noticed, uh, there's some pretty crazy shit going on right now. Uh, uh, basically, we are becoming a police state. Any one of us, I could be considered a terrorist now if I terrorize you, scare you with with something, and you know they can, it's, it's 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 insane. Um, the the people that are in Congress, I think most of them are alcoholics. And one of the things with alcohol is, is it just it makes you so you're you're careless, you're careless in your relationships, you're careless in your driving, you're careless. Period. And you care less. You care less about things in general because you're just you, generally you're unhappy. It's a self-perpetuating thing. I'm I'm very blessed that uh, I could no longer tolerate alcohol. Of a many years ago, I had to stop drinking. It was just too toxic for my system. I hope that you see these giant fracking fields. You, um, you, you really appreciate what you've got. A nice warm home because uh, we are all paying for it dearly.